Dark God of Reason faithfully, controlling planets on the outer rim, a quest to falsify the peasants dim beliefs, exposing these as fallacies to justify the colony, a need to free those subjugated by the whims and superstitious twists of backward kings. We read the brief and laughed hysterically. The conquered's plight was soon to be our own. We saw our reason sigh and away like grass. Our values toppled like a throne of straw. On Kirk we flew along a mountain pass. And there lost hold of all that we had known. All the horrors seen deep inside the stone. I wonder if monotony makes ghosts appear. Can tedium before the eye create a phantom? Yet a crew of nine had seen the self same thing. Could nine minds host one demon? I noticed first the dials of the rose and all the lights upon the flight deck die. And in the mountain pass upon the right, a fist of rock was only like a rose. Extruding slowly from the folds of stone, a monstrous eye emerged which held the ship, catatonic crew, transfixed with days. The memory still can chill me to the bone. It seemed to violate the mind and sift the souls of those in pinned with probing gaze. With each alone submerged in their disgrace, our viciousness, our cowardice and lies were swirled like clouds of dust inside our minds. And now our school of reason talked of fate. One cried, the conscience offers no escape. Another seemed to die behind his eyes, consumed as he unearthed his buried life. It seemed so just we suffered in this way. Then from this supernatural grip released, we dropped upon the floor, no longer dumb. Our obsessive, morbid thoughts had ceased. We drifted for days beneath Kirk's mad sun. Until an old one spoke of ancient sins and how to live among the true, true things.